Okay, viewers, let's talk specifically about the biomechanics and the logistics of what it means to be a para-alpine skier. As many of you may know, I am a uh, physical medicine and rehabilitation physician training in Chicago. And what that means is that I take care of patients who have spinal cord injuries, amputations, or any kind of uh, physical challenge. So when you are an alpine paraskier, what that means is that you're not typically skiing with all four of your limbs that function fully. And because of that, then the other muscles need to take over. You see, when one skis, you're going to need to be able to keep your balance. And when you keep your balance, you use the skis edges in order to cut through the snow. Now, if you're not using both of your legs in order to do that, then you're going to need to use your core, your arms, and the rest of your compensatory muscles in order to keep you up. And because they do that, these Paralympic athletes are phenomenal and probably have stronger cores than you and I. So with all of those details being said, it's really sunny out here, it's really warm, the snow is tough, it's slushy, and because of that, then these excellent, excellent athletes are going to be stronger than they were before when the, when the weather was cooler and the snow was easier to glide on. Um, so I can't wait to see how this shakes down. Um, stay tuned to see how the medals turn out.